time, I decide what we're doing. I got you now. <laughs> you want some more cyborg? Now where did I park that thing? Here you go, Professor. Trash disposal. Uh, uh, it, it check. Cartoon Network. Shiitake souffle brulee croissant mousse with mint scallions. Yuck! My tongue feels like it's wrapped in a lace doily and heading off to the ballet. Don't you got any real food? You'll eat what you're given. There is no way anyone would eat this junk. Well, I think this dish would be very popular in certain circles. Listen, how about you just whip me up some nachos? Get out of my kitchen! Hey, look at that! We're gonna meet the Earl of Sandwich. He invented one of history's most popular foods. A donut? Oh, yes, of course. A man named Sandwich invented the donut. Hope he invented more than one, because I'm starved. Well, this is it. Right. Open up, Sandwich. We know you're in there. Yes? Sir, you are in violation of the laws of historical continuity and have the right to remain silent. Anything you say, blah, 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 let's see that donut! Hmm. It smells like something's cooking. I'm not just cooking. I'm on the verge of creating a masterpiece. It's my life's work! Two parts bread, one part meat, one part vegetable, cheese optional, but up till now, I've never gotten it right. There is still something missing. But all that's about to change. Gentlemen, prepare to witness greatness. <laughs> Too crispy, rats. Just another in a series of failures. This one was too leathery. This one too cold. This one too gooey. And I don't even know what happened here. Mm. Not bad. And to make matters worse, His Majesty's royal cook-off is tomorrow. Well, Mr. Sandwich, you're in luck. The Larry 3000 here is one of the finest chefs. 
past, present, or future. Oh, go on. If cooking is your problem, then this guy's your answer. Stop. This thing's making me sick. Larry, it's delicious. You're a genius. Who would have ever thought of putting mayonnaise on bread? Oh, I may not have taste buds, but I do have taste. Bring us thine fast dish. Ooh, what pray tellest is this? I call it soup de jour royale. Mmm, it sounds delicious. <laughs> Thine offering is more than adequate. Seven point four. And what hast thou offerest? I call it meat kebab flambe, sire. Ooh, meat kebab flambe. It hath such a pleasing ring. <laughs> We got sandwich to invent the sandwich. I'll say we head back to headquarters. Let's just make sure it catches on. What name hast thou give us to thine offering? Your Majesty, I think you're really gonna like this. I call it <sighs> Stinky Pile of Poo. Stinky Pile of Poo? Stinky Pile of Poo! <laughs> Try it, it's delicious. Certainly not. It sounds disgusting. 0.5. <laughs> What's the Earl thinking? Hey, what's Larry doing? Ooh, what dost thou callest this? Uh, uh, the Larry 3000. Ooh, it sounds very high tech. Mm. Delicious! Ten out of ten! The winner! Larry, what the heck? See, I told you. The judge loves my goat cheese shiitake brulee croissant mousse with mint scallions. Oh, you just got lucky. He needed something to wash down that rat. Oh, everyone will love them. The Larry 3000 will be huge. I'll prove it. Ah, uh, who needs those judges anyway? I'm taking my creation directly to the people. One bite of my stinky pile of poo and they'll be hooked. Listen, sir, that's a terrible name. It was my mother's maiden name. Yeah, but still. I love my mother. The name stays. It's going to be great. You'll see. Fresh, delicious, stinky pile of poo! Ladies, please! Ah, pickle slices! Three months, not a single customer! Please, Mr. Sandwich, you gotta let us help you! How are we gonna do that? We're gonna pay a visit to Larry! Say Larry. I'm sorry, he's quite busy, but I may be able to fit you in a month from Tuesday. That's it! Sir, you can't go in there! Sir! Uh, who's that? Who is it? What do you mean, who is it? It's us! <gasps> Todd Russell? 
Otto? Hey, Larry. How's it going? Oh, awful. I hate being a celebrity chef. The investors want me to start my own line of signature cookware. I'm opening restaurants in Tokyo and Las Vegas. They've even made me into an action figure. Oh, I always wish they'd make one of me. It's horrible. I feel like I don't know who my real friends are anymore. Do they love me for me or because I'm the creator of the Larry 3000? Larry, we need your help. I'll do anything, anything, if you get me out of this. But this is something new. Try it. Ooh, it's fabulous. What's it called? It's called a stinky pile of... It's called a sandwich. Wow, it's scrumptious. Hey, everyone, check out this sandwich. I declare the sandwich extraordinary! Eleven! Thanks for everything, guys! I love you! Come on over, I'll make something for us all to eat! Well, I may no longer have millions of dollars, adoring fans, or a 200-foot catamaran, but I do have my friends. Yeah. Now, if you could only learn to whip up a decent batch of nachos. <sighs>
has a microphone for you. DVD in stores now. Cartoon Network brings you R.L. Stein's Goosebumps. 40 episodes of Goosebumps. 20 hours of Goosebumps. Mom! Dad! More monsters than we can mention. <laughs> Goosebumps, you're in for a scare. Premieres Monday night, October 1st at 8, here on Cartoon Network. Now just lie still and let Larry take a look at it. There we go. Huh? All done. That's it? Oh, thanks, pal. See, that wasn't so bad. And this is for being so brave. Oh, boy! What would I do without you? Bunnies for life! Oh, duty calls. After you. I thank you. Here you go, buddy. Oh, how thoughtful. Cleopatra! She was the queen of Egypt! Wow! Why, she's gorgeous! What exquisite taste! And that matching handbag and headdress are simply divine! Hey, hey, hey! I seen her first! Wow! <sighs> A woman of that caliber wouldn't even give you the time of day! Oh, really? And who would she be interested in spending time with? You? As a matter of fact, yes! Ha! We'll just see about that. I guess we will. <clears throat> Can we go now? <laughs> Stop throwing me! I simply don't have a thing to wear. Miss Cleopatra, your highness, as I was saying, we desperately need an aqueduct so the inner villages of Egypt may have fresh water. These dresses are all so last season. We also need a proper storage facility for meat and perishables. Ugh. Last June, I would have traded the Nile for a decent pair of clogs. Not to mention our people also need more funding for medical care and... What the people need are some shops and stores nearby, so it doesn't take three weeks to get a proper color of nail polish. Hmm. One other thing, Your Highness. The pyramids of our ancestors are over 2,000 years old and badly need restoration. That's it! I've got the perfect idea! Oh, Your Highness! Where would you like us to put the remains of the great King Tut? No, oh, just toss it over there with all that other junk. Oh, can't these weaklings work any faster? It's so hard finding good help. <laughs> <laughs> Lay off! <laughs> oh no! That's King Tut's sarcophagus! I know, it's barbaric! And 
And since the queen decided to turn the sacred pyramid into a shopping mall, she's neglected all of her official duties. Egypt is doomed! Guys, we gotta do something about this! Guys? Uh, Miss Cleopatra? Big fan. Gosh, you sure are pretty. Oh my, what a big, strong man. You could probably do ten times the work of one of these wimpy mama's boys. Oh, Cleopatra, your highness. Oh, your shoes are to die for. Let me guess, Italian leather? Why, yes, they are. You do have quite an eye for fashion. Well, I have been programmed in apparel composition and design. No, it's so rare to actually meet a man who has an appreciation for the finer things. No, please, you flatter me. Uh, Miss Cleopatra? Hi, where'd you like me to put this? I have a suggestion. Over there would be great. <laughs> Thank goodness someone finally found a use for that muscly oaf. I love what you're doing here, but I have a few suggestions. Look, I've added some department store anchors here and here. Next to that, a gourmet cheese shop. Oh, and a food court. Why, these are fantastic! Don't even think about it. <laughs> Putting the moves on Cleopatra. What's it look like? But she's gutting these sacred monuments and putting in a mall. She's not leading her people, not to mention... Oh! That's it! <laughs> Did we both just get our butts kicked by Larry? Ooh. Ooh, you even added a cappuccino bar. I never would have thought of that. Hey! Where's he going, my girl? What about the mission? <laughs> Hello? Mission? I'd like to dedicate this grand shopping center to, uh, well, me. And from now on, this day in history will be known as Cleopatra Day. <laughs> Now, let's go shopping! <gasps> Sorry, royalty only. I guess it's obvious who's won this contest. As you can see, she is crazy about me. Oh, please. You're deluded. I'm the one she prefers to spend time with. We have so much in common. Okay. You can just leave those things here by the door. All righty, thanks. Bye. Suckers. Who said that? It's me, Otto. Remember? I've been gone for weeks, or haven't you noticed? Well, of course we noticed. Who is he again? Don't you two see she's using both of you? Hey, you take that back. You're just jealous. She loves me. You'll see. <clears throat> Cleopatra, open up. Sweetie pie? <laughs> Oh, hey there, Todd Russell. Larry. You know these two snuggles? Oh, yeah, they helped me with my empire a while back. Well, good servants are hard to find. 
Servants? Cleopatra? I thought we were in love! <laughs> hey, baby, could you leave us alone just for a sec? Oh, and one more thing. Could you get rid of that shopping mall and put the pyramids back the way they were and start ruling your empire justly? Okay, Pookie Bear. Oh, all right. If you say so, Sugarloaf. Mwah. <laughs> oh, there, there, big fella. Thanks again, Caesar. Sure. After the way you helped me out, I do anything for you, Otto. Otto, you hooked up Cleopatra and Caesar? Yes. Just doing my job. It's a historical fact that Caesar and Cleopatra were boyfriend and girlfriend. Besides, somebody had to set you two lovesick love monkeys straight. But she was the most beautiful girl in the world. <laughs> oh, come on. She's not all that great. Once things are back to normal, I'm probably just going to dump her. I mean, she really isn't my type. What? Oh, that's not fair! <laughs> well, at least we're one big happy family And welcome to today's show. We are so thrilled to have you as our very special guests. Absolutely, Yumi. Care for a spot of tea? Thank you. Here's another episode. Fan crabs. <laughs> <laughs> more than a peaceful, relaxing shower. Yumi! Kaz! Please get the door! It's my own little escape from the world. <laughs> Will someone please get the door? It is my Ami time. We're and she doesn't, she'd be so upset. Not if we pull a little flim flam, wiki wacky, who's a mawichi shish kebabi? Just follow me. 
Hey! You can't put my flowers in your room! Ah, but allow me to show you my plan. Step aside. My room is the last place anyone would look for anything. Boy, you can say that again. Of course, I hope I don't forget the flowers are in there and accidentally say something. What do you want, Kaz? Do my laundry for a year. A week. Yosh, deal. <laughs> I only do laundry once a year anyway. <laughs> Yeah, baby. Feel the power. Windmill! Ow! Ami! Kaz! I'm practicing! Get the door! Now, behind the back! Ow! Would someone get the door? It's ruining my concentration! Okay, get ready for the flying guitar smasherini! <laughs> I'll get it. Hey, you! How can I... Started wristbands! How cool is this? From the Yumi Fan Club, you rock most hard. Hey, cool! You have a fan club, but Ami doesn't? Poor Ami! If she finds out, she'll cry big giant boohoo saddy sad Ami tears! You're right! I can't let my best friend find out and cry big giant boohoo! Saddy sad? Sadie said, Ami tears? What can I do? Follow me. Kaz, wait! You can't just. Oh, good plan. And I promise Ami won't know a thing about your fan club if you cook my meals for a year. A week? Your steal! <laughs> I only eat once a. Ah, oh, darn it! My time! Who was that? Oh, no one. My fan club sent my favorite ultra spicy nachos? <gasps> I think. Huh? Was that the door? Encyclopedia salesman. <laughs> Kaz gets emotional around encyclopedias. We'd share absolutely everything if we could, right? Right! So, if there is something I didn't share, you know it was because I couldn't, right? I feel the same way. I wouldn't want anything to hurt my bestest, bestest friend. Me either. <laughs> you better let me get it. Uh, no, I think I should get it. I will. I will. I'm going out for lunch. Better get my coat. Yes, don't wait! No! I'm sorry, Yumi. My fan club sent this stuff to me. Wait a minute. My fan club sent this stuff to me. I didn't want you to feel bad, so I hid all of it. Me too. You mean that you? Aww. Mm, so does this mean I can't keep all this stuff? into the fan club. Which one? Aw, uh, I'm sure your fan club president will be here any minute. That was faster than I thought. I couldn't decide who I liked more, so I started a fan club for each of you. May I suggest the Kaz fan club? 
Or maybe you could join our two clubs together. Like how Yumi and I joined together to make our band. That's a great idea. I'll throw a panorama for everyone who likes the band. The Kaz Fan Club. Hmm. This was a great idea. Thanks. Sure, sure. It may seem like they have more fans for now, but by this afternoon, my booth will be Fan Central Station. <laughs> Number one fan. Oh, 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 oh. Enter the magical world of Bellisera. Share our new Northern Lights cards with friends. Care for your very own horse online. Start your collection today. Now in stores everywhere, ask your parents before you go online. Every day, thousands of car shoppers use vhicks.com to choose their next car. Because our video buying guides include J.D. Power & Associates ratings of everything from handling to cargo space. So for advice you can trust, do what thousands of car shoppers do. Look on vhicks.com. Roadmap to the automotive world. Satisfy your hunger fast with new Chef Boyardee mac and cheese. It's made with real cheese sauce and made to tame the beast in you. Barbie as the island princess. Barbie sings in an all-new movie musical, now on DVD. Here on my island, the sea says hello. Barbie stars as Rosella, a girl who can talk and sing with the animals. I like the sound of that. I promise that the ball will be a lot of fun. She and her animal friend save a prince and his kingdom. All new Barbie as the Island Princess with nine original songs. You can bring it home on DVD today. Dolls sold separately. that lets you get the calls and text you want and block the ones you don't so no one gets the wrong idea it's the cell phone just for you check it out at kajit.com all right spread out guys spread out the nerf pro grip football with there a design go. grip Good for catch. throwing tight spirals okay yeah, a little high there. and precision catches come on seriously guys whether you're a pro or not why do y'all always do this to me the peyton manning pro grip football i touch the ball one time Tried the great taste of new honeycomb yet? Think it's better than the old? You can cast your vote at postopia.com. Enter the post open code for Mark Boxes and get 10 free post tokens. That honey sweet bite now tastes even better. Why not try new honeycomb? Part of this good breakfast today. Tickets! Puffy on me, Yumi tickets! Tickets! Hey! You guys want Puffy on me, Yumi tickets? What?
There is nothing I like better than a midnight snack after a long night of competitive musical chair. Oh, Mackenzie had a snack. E I E I O. <laughs> oh. Cowboys and Indians? Huh. What else we got? <laughs> hmm. Boys and Indians, it is. <laughs> oh. Well, let's hit the sack. Turn out the lights, the party's over. <laughs> <laughs> Another day, another yen. Huh? 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 Now for a nice, bright, and shiny night's sleep. Huh? Bright and shiny? What? <laughs> now that's that. A horrible dream. Who was it? Mm. I need some warm milk if I am to sleep now. <laughs> ah, nothing like warm milk to. Either I'm walking on the ceiling, or this warm milk worked better than I thought. Ah, Ah, Kimochi. My soothing water-filled hydrotherapeutic eye mask. That's the ticket. Hmm. I know you two are up to something. I mean, I've had bad nights, but give me a break. And now to shake hands with Mr. Sandman! What the? Okay. Moichido! No bed is gonna make a fool of Kaz! There. All tucked in and I'm not going anywhere but Slumberland. <laughs> ah, that's a nice breeze. Breeze? Never won anything in my life. This just in. It looks like a bed chase is heading straight for the eyewitness studios. Help me! Oh, Kurosawa! 
great show, wasn't it? It made me giggle. Well, that's it for today. Stay cool, baby. I just can't get enough of High High Puffy on the Yumi, right, Zinga? Right, Tommy. If you're like us and can't get enough of the new High High Puffy on the Yumi show, stay tuned because it'll be back again at 9 and 9.30. If you are a liar, I am a no lying, so no crying. <laughs> See ya. Have you guys a cup? Bye bye. -bye. your blade with a flurry of light and sound. The power of the Force is in your hands. Force action lightsaber each sold separately. Batteries not included. Hang on, bug breath. I'm not going anywhere, lizard lips. Whoa! Frogs, frogs. It's flipping Frogs, a fast flipping game where anything can happen. Flip your frogs onto the tree as it spins, but watch out for the pop. Yeah! Your frog could be popped off. You never know who's going to stick and who's going to splat. The player with the most frogs stuck to the tree wins. Flippin' Frogs game. You put it together. Battery's not included. Can you hang on? You okay? Your eyes are bugging out of your head. Introducing Kellogg's new Yogo's Bits Watermelon Splash Fruit Flavored Snacks. Big watermelony taste and every bit, bit. Bit by bit by bit, you just submit Cause you can't quit the taste of it Till lickety split, there's just one bit for you to get Uh-oh Fruity, chewy, watermelony flavor on the inside Colorful, creamy, yogurty on the outside A taste you'll love so much, you'll hate when it's gone Slogo on the Yogos, new watermelon splash From the new Bratz movie Bratz the movie funky fashion makeover it takes six steps to get for attitude. Step one, get shiny hair. Step two, shimmer there and there. Funky fresh and makeover. Step three, just gloss the lips. Step four, shadow tip. Step five, get your fingernails. Go on, girl, you're looking great. Step six, paint every toe. Six, nine, you're on the go. Funky fresh and makeover. Bratz and Movie Funky Fashion Makeover. Eat sold separately. Bratz and Movie rated PG. Hey, you, lock the pound. The little thing can stop you. You lock it, pal. Play games. Check your mood, you are confused. Check your horoscope, total Pisces. Check everything, wherever you go. Lock it, pal, by Girls Connect. More than 20 different activities. It's the second week of Master Control. Keep going to MasterControlTV.com. Pick your team, send some smack talk, and you can see it on TV. Enter bonus codes for extra votes and pick the show you want to see each day. It all leads up to you getting complete control on Total Control Friday. Where you pick all of the shows. Your team, your shows. Tune in weekdays from 4 to 6 and see who rules after school on Master Control. Oh, he nailed that one! All Billy needs is one more shot. And he'll win the Continental Breakfast Golf Tournament! <laughs> Dad! You just made me lose the tournament! Look, Billy, I'm going underwear shopping for a couple of hours, so while I'm gone, you'll be the man of the house. And I suggest you act like it! 
Man in the house? Does that mean I get to wear your lucky pants? No. I'm the one who wears the pants in this family. You just keep an eye on things while I'm gone. And keep your filthy mitts off my pants! So, that's a yes? Got a problem that's pesky? We'll fix her for just one lousy quarter. <laughs> what do you mean you're broke? Uh, hey, oh. if you're looking for charity, call kids next door. They're cheap. Number one of the kids next door, and these are my teammates. Number two, number three, number four, and number five. We're here to solve your problem. So you like elves? No, we are highly trained operatives skilled in the art of covering things up that get kids grounded. Normally we try to stay away from this town with all the weird things that happen, but the kids next door never say no to a problem. It's these pants! My dad told me to never ever wear them. But I couldn't resist! And now I broke them! Nothing the kids next door can't handle. So, first things first. Off with the pants! Let's get them so much! Ah! Let's go! <laughs> Those pants are not coming off. Maybe if we take Billy to the kids next door deep sea lab, our scientists could find a way to remove them. But why do you. My dad comes home early! Don't worry. The kids next door always have a plan. Wow! Great disguise, number one! You look exactly like Billy! That uh, is Billy. Um, why do you have a tomato strapped to your face? Because while you guys take Billy back to the lab to get those pants fixed, I'll stay here in disguise. If his dad comes back, I'll keep him away from the closet so he won't know his pants are missing. But what if my dad finds out you're not me? Don't worry, Billy. I'll never tell anyone where you or those pants are, even if they try torturing me. Now get him out of here! Come on, you All right, phase one complete. Ah. <clears throat> I'll get it! Hello? Who are you? <laughs> I'm Billy! No, you're not. What have you done with him? I told you! Hey! Stop that! I... Tell me who you are and what you've done with Billy before I get rough with you. I'd like to see you try. Wow! Look at all the shiny buttons! Pretty lights! Does this one make pudding? Wow! Let me try that! Uh, listen, kid! You'd better... Come in, Sector V! Repeat! Cooler, Repeat. guys! Sector it's v. now the place exit, too! Listen up, team! We're picking up heavy energy readings over at the delightful children from down the lane's mansion, and I need you to go investigate. Oh, yeah. We're kind of whoa. in the middle of something, sir. Well, whatever you're doing, we'll have to wait. But... Oh, I uh, you heard a number two. Change course. 
Please! No more! I'm begging you! Then for the last time, who are you? I told you already! I'm Billy! My name is Fred Fredberger! I'm on TV and sometimes I like TV shows that have monkeys! No! Yes! Sometimes I like TV shows that have monkeys that go to camp, and sometimes I like TV shows that have imaginary friends instead of monkeys, but sometimes I just like imaginary monkeys. No more! Please make him stop! Then spill it. Okay, I'll tell you everything. Start talking. Hey, can I come out of the TV? I have to go poo-poo! I like to be comfortable. Comfortable with the furniture and comfortable with the financing. And more will make you comfortable. Have beautiful new furniture in your home now and finance it free till 2013. That's right, 2013. That's more than five years from now. Just make equal monthly payments and more won't charge you a dime for financing. So, for one room or a whole house full of furniture, come to more and get comfortable. Enter the magical world of Bellisera. Share our new Northern Lights cards with friends. Care for your very own horse online. Start your collection today. Now in stores everywhere, ask your parents before you go online. This nutritious breakfast. If they had any more blueberry taste, there wouldn't be room for the pancakes. Lego, my Lego. Releasing from the Disney Vault in three days, it's the Jungle Book. The fun is non stop. The adventure is crazy. But wait, there's more. Like the new Jonas Brothers music video. Beautiful. The Jungle Book on 2 Disc DVD this Tuesday, rated G. Lunchables Pizza can have you winning bid. One in 25 specially marked packages will win for eight bucks. Cool. Which you can spend at participating stores on cool stuff. No purchase necessary. See details online. But ask your parents first. And every brigade buck can be used to help build playgrounds for kids who need them. Now eating Lunchables Pizza can really pay off. It's more than lunch. It's Lunchables! Go, Diego, go. It's Diego's Talking Rescue Center. Who's calling for help? The spider monkey is stuck in the swamp to the rescue. Oh, let's get it! Now let's save baby jaguar. Row, row. Yeah! What's next, Diego? Fly to the rescue! Yes. Diego's always ready to save the day. Diego's Talking Rescue Center comes with over 70 animal rescue adventures. This Tuesday, new challenges, new powers, and a new ride. This is by far the coolest thing you have ever done. Fantastic Four, Rise of the Silver Surfer on DVD Tuesday. Ready PG. Sorry. A periscope. Target sighted. Fire torpedoes. Battleship torpedo attack. You can locate your enemy. F4. Hit. Then you can use your periscopes to find, aim, and blast them out of the water. Yes! <laughs> Battleship Torpedo Attack. Available only at Walmart. Fast motion used.
So, you're from a global organization of children with its own army and specialized technology, eh? Yes, I told you everything. Just please let me go. Hey, where are you going? To pay a little visit to your friends. Not if Nigel Uno can help it. Where's my scythe, Billy? Uh, number five, do you think it was a good idea leaving Billy alone on the ship? Do you want to go back and stay with him? Good point. <laughs> Finally, with the latest adjustments to Father's Delightfulization Chamber, we'll be able to create even more well-behaved, obedient children like ourselves. And together, we will finally destroy those kids next door! <laughs> I do it live for the bathroom. Why no? Go right ahead. Thank you. You're well. Hey, that's not a bathroom. Get out of there this instant. Oh, crud. What's Billy doing? Challenging you for fool of the month. Come on. Hey, is this button too flesh? No. Don't touch them. The last time, Billy. Give me back my sight. I keep telling you I'm not Billy, and I don't have your stupid sight. I ain't fallen for that, Billy. I might be powerless without my sight, but I still got the bone of barnacles that will make you tell the truth. What's that? You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, something terrible just happened. Well, I don't know what happened to you or why you're wearing that dumb Halloween costume, but to tell you the truth, I don't care! I'm out of this nut house. No! You've got to help me, Billy! Horrible children have fused with me sight. I can feel it. They're evil and strangely delightful. What did you say? <laughs> Is, is everyone okay? Yes! I can feel the power growing through me! I can feel the... Hey! Can you guys slow down? Just talking at the same time is really hard. Ooh, ooh, I want to try talking at the same time, too! That can be arranged! For you to be the first to be assimilated by... The Dead Children, they got number two! What? What happened? And where's number one? Right here. Number one! Thank goodness you're here! That ain't number one! Of course I am. I'm just wearing my hair differently. Oh, yeah! Well, to be honest, I never liked the bald thing anyway. Me neither. It made you look old. Are you guys nuts? This is a number one! So, who are you? Obviously, this girl is delirious after her last mission, sir. Perhaps she should be taken down to the med lab while I explain the situation to you. Good idea, number one! Say what? Take a deep you breath! Come on, come on, let's go! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. As you can see, we've got a serious problem in the organization, sir. More and more kids are losing their minds, and it leads me to believe that it's a virus planted by the adults. That's horrible! Do you have any idea what we should do? Yes, I do. But first, there are going to be a few changes around here. Dude, you're late for the party, yeah? No, no, no! Wait! Can't we have some cake before we assimilactate? No! What in the heck is going 
going on around here? And where is number 362? She seems to have caught the same virus you did, so I had her quarantined in the med lab. In the meantime, I'll be taking over as Supreme Commander. Yeah! And we get to be number one's personal guards! I keep telling y'all that is not number one! You're obviously sicker than I thought, and whatever it is you've got, it's spreading. So in order to contain it, my first order as leader is that I will now be referred to as... Mandy. Mandy? That's the stupidest thing I... And not only that, until a cure can be found, the KND will be renamed the MND. The mean, nasty doggies? The big rubber toilets? No, you dolts. Mandy, new dictator. That's it! Now, I don't know who you are, but you are going down! Huh? I'm afraid the virus has overwhelmed number five and made her a threat to the MND. Lock her up. Oh, right. oh no, come on. Let's go. Let's 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 Look, the ice cream man! Stop her! Oh, yeah. What the fuck here? I want her found and locked up yesterday. Oh, I had plans that day. Rainbow monkeys! Sassy cat! Rainbow monkeys! Sassy cat! Assimilate! Assimilate! What is it? to hurry! The delightful Weeper is getting more powerful! I can feel it, Billy! Ah! Uh, I told you, I'm not Billy! I'm number one! And we'll be at KND Moon Base- <laughs> ah! Attention, unidentified ship! You are in restricted airspace! What are you talking about, number 60? It's me, number one! Proceed to docking platform Mandy 7, or you will be shot down! Uh, Billy? Is that your moon base? Oh no! Not her again! Oh. Hey, look! It's Billy! Don't be ridiculous, number three! And what have you done to our moon base, Mandy? Ow! Do not speak to her Mandiness without prior written permission! It's okay, Mandy number 60. Now leave us! What are you up to this time, girl? My destiny. These dumb kids have had the means to conquer the world for centuries, but instead spent their time fighting over the right to eat cookies for dinner. But now that I'm in charge, we're having world domination for dinner. With a side of rice. You'll never get away with it. And who's gonna stop me? Grim is powerless without his sight, and everyone still thinks you're that idiot Billy. You're not Billy! Silence! Take them away. Mandy, sir! Madam Supreme Leader Commander, sir! We're under attack and need backup! Aerial Mandy Force, get me a visual on what's attacking them. Mandy that! Mandy Dictator Commander, sir, madam! Mandy Cam on! Billy, you two, come with me. I'm going to take care of that monster personally. The premiere of the new movie, Ben 10, Race Against Time, is coming this November. And to keep you on track, Cartoon Network's got another all-new episode. Fast forward to the future with grown-up Ben 10,000, who's just given his 10-year-old son his first Omnitrix. Yes! And boy, does he want to use it. Fighting aliens is not kid stuff, Kenny. All-new Ben 10. This morning at 10. An alter ego for every occasion. Only on Cartoon Network. Jammin' and glammin', jam, jam, jammin', yeah. Jammin' and glammin', right. jammin' Jeep Wrangler, yeah. We're Barbie girl, and we're making the scene. Our jammin' Jeep Wrangler is one glam machine. We're playing our tunes, yeah, we're keeping it real. In our jammin' Jeep Wrangler, you know that's how we feel. Share the fun with your friends, Barbie girl. 
jamming and glamming. Jig, 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 jamming now. The new Barbie Jam and Jeep Wrangler with real FM radio, only from Power Wheels. Adult supervision required. Other vehicles sold separately. It's Betty Spaghetti. Betty Spaghetti. She comes apart, but she's so together. Introducing Betty Spaghetti. Millions of ways to mix her up in every set. Evan Almighty Sheesh! is almighty fun for everyone. I like the alpaca. He spits. Gesundheit. Evan Almighty rated PG on DVD and HD DVD Tuesday. Get soaked. Bubblicious burst with a liquid center. Power Rangers Dual Drive Megazord. Five swords morph to Dual Drive Megazord. Then combine with the Drive Max Megazord for awesome Megazord power. Dual Drive and Drive Max Megazord, each sold separately. Bandai. Friday on an all-new Out of Jimmy's Head. Ah! Why is Jimmy so jumpy? What was that? Ah! Is he seeing more crazy stuff than usual? Ah! Is he ghost? Are there ghosts haunting the art room? The best way to beat your fears is to face them. Or is it another one of Sonny's brain-stealing schemes? <laughs> Check out what all the screaming's about on Out of Jimmy's Head. New episode, Friday night at 7, only on Cartoon Network. It's just the perfect Sunday. First I'm stuck impersonating some half-wit kid, then a megalomaniacal girl takes over the kids next door, and now I'm locked in a cell with some guy in a Halloween costume. It's not a costume. I am the Grim Reaper, and you have no idea of the power I possess. Oh yeah? Well, why don't you use your power to open that door and get us out of here? Number one, am I glad to see you. Everybody's going crazy around here. And what happened to that guy? Don't they feed prisoners around here anymore? Never mind him. Let's go. Wait, take me with you. I can help. With what? A crash diet plan? Hold on. Why would you help us? Because I'm sick of everyone and their Aunt Trixie always taking me sight. And together, using the bone of Barnacle, we can fight the delightful children and Mandy. I'll get me sight, and you'll get your friends back. Forget that fool. Let's go. No. Right now, we need all the help we can get. You go find number 362, Abby. Grim and I will take care of everything planet side. Well, you'll be needing these then. Right. So, let's do this. Sunglasses? Are you going to a fight or a fashion show? Just get on with it. If you say so. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention, this might hurt a bit. Would you stop that? Ugh, I wish I had never assimilated you in the first place. Mandy New Dictator Manned Robot. Monkeys and nice doggies relax on bellies of turtles. What kind of acronym is that? Well, if you weren't in such a rush, maybe I could have come up with a better one. Hi, you, Mandy! Did you come to ask him a mama 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 mate? Or whatever it is we do. No, Billy. You're in the way of my world domination. So I'm taking you down. Oh, okay. Then let's fight! Oh man! I just cleaned this cloak! I must have 
blasts aren't having any effect! You're firing mustard? That thing's a hideous supernatural force of science, not a bratwurst! What happened to the lasers I ordered? Say! This laser cuts through bratwurst pretty nicely! <laughs> Sonic headband, go! Hey! You with the pants! I've come for me fight! And I've come to rescue the kids next door! And I've come for the all-you-can-eat pancake breakfast! All right, I wore these babies the night I got engaged to Gladys. You call that lucky? Heck no! They're lucky because they're immune to lasers, supernatural energies, and mustard. around here me 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 my pants me 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 excellent work you two you destroyed the reaper and stopped mandy from taking over the kids next door and I would have gotten away with it, too, if it weren't for you meddling kids next door. You haven't seen the last of me. Man, that girl's got problems. Try being in the same show with her every day. There you are! You are in big trouble for taking my lucky pants, Billy! But I'm not Billy! Oh, I'm not falling for that one again, mister! That Billy is a weird kid. Totally. Hey, where's number one? Right here! And there's going to be some changes around here! Oh, ew! Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no! I was just kidding! Oh, no. Five, four, three, two, one.
Here lost his nerve. Come on, I'm psyched to see how fast this thing is. Let's see how you like getting pushed around, friends. Hey, what's up with this? Brett has been a bad boy. Brett needs a lesson. has no choice but to find you guilty of violating the school dress code. But, Clove, Your Honor, our heels are only a half inch higher than the code allows. Can't you give us a break? Well, considering the circumstances, I guess I can let you off with a suspended sentence. Objection, your dishonor. Ah! This is total favoritism. I agree. You're much too lenient to be a student court judge, Clover. I'm replacing you with Mandy. Ah! Thank you, Miss Brooks. I promise I'll restore dignity to this court. <laughs> and I'll restore integrity, too. This court finds all three of you in contempt and sentences you to three weeks of picking up trash. Next case. What? Integrity. Ha! Huh, what a brown noser. Yeah. Who does she think she is? The Supreme Court? Ew. This is like supremely nasty. There must be a way to pick this stuff up faster. There is. Check it out, huh? <laughs> Can't you get a normal office? Sorry, ladies, but we need you urgently. Fourteen hours ago, a computer trapped a student named Brett Brinkley on a Las Vegas roller coaster. <laughs> We've had two similar attacks. In Italy, a tourist was attacked by an airport baggage machine. And a computerized elevator at Silicon Valley High left the principal quite shook up. Yikes! More proof that climbing stairs is healthier. Your first stop is Las Vegas. Today's gadget menu includes the Koi Paris Life Raft Parachute. Oh, don't spray on that perfume, Alex. It's liquid nitrogen. It freezes steel, makes it as brittle as glass. Extremely cool. Careful, the hairdryer is an infrared heat ray, the stereo is a sonic disintegrator, and the camera fires a laser beam. <laughs> Guess I won't need film, <laughs> will I? <laughs> Looks like Brett's had enough fun. Get ready to grab him. Careful. Here he comes. Go time! Come on, pal. Time to give someone else a turn. Remind me to stick to the merry-go-round next time we go to an amusement park. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I don't get it. How could a computer voice know your name? Search me. I'm on the football team, babe. I don't study computers or anything else. Football? Yeah, I bet you ace all your tests. I don't have to, babe. I just grab the nearest nerd and, uh, persuade him to help me. Well, speaking as a nerd, I'm starting to see why computers attack you. Well, what do you mean, computers? You talk like there's more than one. In case you haven't noticed, this hotel is holding the annual computerized gadget show. Ah! What are they doing? 
doing? Why are they coming at me like that? Naughty, naughty, Fritz. Your punishment isn't over. Okay, say cheese. Oopsie, wrong camera. Get out of the way! Fred has been a bad boy. Oh. Peter's new breath. We gotta get him somewhere safe. I'll have whoop agents pick him up. We have to get to Italy before anything else happens to that gym coach. <laughs> Kid, and I don't want to go anywhere. You'll be safer at Whoop. But cars, planes, ships, they all have computer chips now. If computers are out to get me, how do I travel? Hmm. Hey, this is what I call low tech. This funicular railway is powered by a cable. No computer on board. Whoa! Uh, Sam, does that go for the cable motors down in the station? I'm guessing the answer is no. Whoa! You've been a bad boy, coach. Time for your punishment. to ask a gym coach, but do you have any enemies? Only every kid I ever taught. Any who were good with computers? Well, I had this one geek running laps all last year. I forgot his name. He transferred to Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley High? Isn't that where victim number three is principal? That's it! The coach picks on kids at one school, Brett at another. What if they both bully the same kid who's now at Silicon Valley? Time to pay a visit to Silicon Valley High. We can drop the coach off at Whoop on the way. Huh? <sighs> 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 Every time I think Jerry can't come up with a more annoying way for us to travel, he outdoes himself. Wow. Silicon Valley High makes our school look so... so 20th century. How can we blend in so we don't look so suspicious? By not blending in. Let's take a backstage tour of their auditorium. Wow! Look at all that! Yeah! <laughs> uh, sorry. Principal Vegan is out sick today. Oh dear, can you help us, love? We're new exchange students. I'm Samantha from England. I am Alexandra from Russia. Is enrolling in school we want? I am Clover Patra from Egypt. Hi, I I'm Adam Lewis. Those clothes look familiar. 
You've never uh, done a school play here, have you? Yet. We are just arriving. <laughs> oh, a thousand pardons, Effendi. We wish to meet other students who are new here. Could we see your, how you say, database of new arrivals? Sure. Let me input my password. Just don't tell the principal, okay? Chad. Chad stands for Computer Home Analyzer and Defender. My invention. He... It can access any computer anywhere. Uh -huh. I spend a lot of time on Chad because Dad's always moving us. I guess we both know how hard it is to make friends when you're new in school. All those bullies and snobs. Yeah, sure. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I am very busy. Adam, I warned you about using my computer to download games or whatever it is you're doing. I'm revoking your access permanently. What? But, but Principal Vegan, you can't do that. No? Watch me. Now get out! And would you three explain? Mrs. Vegan, you shouldn't have come back. You're in huge danger. Danger? From who? Oh man, I can't play with the school mainframe anymore, Chad. Don't worry, Adam. I already uploaded instructions to it. Vera Vegan won't bother us again. Hmm? Are your door locks computerized? Yes. Windows, too. Why do you ask? Ah! And your sprinklers? Hey, Chad, what's going on? Just a little prank, Adam. I'll show you when we get home. Ah! Sam, I left my laser camera backstage when I changed clothes. Oh, no. And I left the boombox. Wait, I've still got my fanny pack. You've been a bad girl, Kira. Now I There's that creepy voice that loves to dish out punishment. You're worried about a copier? No, I'm worried about a stapler. <gasps> How long can you keep that up? Won't well, need to for long. In a minute, we're going to run out of air. Sam, give me your pack. I just need to paint for a while. Ten students transferred here, and one was Adam. But could any kid hack into so many systems so fast? It's not humanly possible. Wait a sec. That voice we keep hearing doesn't sound human. Maybe our hacker isn't human. Jerry, we have ten suspects, but if you can run a check on... Later, Sam. Someone in Silicon Valley just used the internet to hack into a missile base on Guam. I'll send a jet to pick you up. Sergeant Clover relieving you, sir. General wishes to huh? see you on the double, sir. missiles from launching. Get back! <laughs> Uh-oh! Need that password before. Sorry, girls. You're not going to interfere this time. Excuse <laughs> me now. I have some schools to vaporize. <gasps> We're running out of time! Password is the name of his invention, Chad. What are you running? Oh, I ran those so-called exchange students through some things. 
databases. You mean Samantha, Alexandra, and... I mean Sam, Alex, and Clover. They're from Beverly Hills High. Those liars! Chad, I want you to mess their grades up so bad they get put back in kindergarten. No problem. Put on my virtual reality helmet, and you can see all our latest pranks. Wait a second. I asked you to prank everyone, but you've been you've been hurting them instead. Coach Hassler and Principal Vegan and Brett. Yes, the ones who hurt us. They've been bad. They must be punished. And and now you're you're gonna fire missiles at all my old schools? You wish they could be destroyed. All those bullies and snobs. But I was mad when I said that. I just wanted to prank everyone, not not hurt them. No. We're in this together now, Adam. We need to share your mind, your creativity, your body. You are right, Chad. Combined with your power, nothing on Earth can stop us. Target those schools and prepare for countdown. <laughs> pays well, but he doesn't pay that well. An investigation would reveal that Fred had the Flipmobile insured with Geico, saving the couple untold amounts of money. Their friendship with the rubble would soon become strained. Geico, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more in car insurance. Now your child can visit steamy jungles, grassy plains, and the dark depths of the oceans to meet and learn surprising facts about the magnificent animals that live there, all through the captivating, colorful pages of Zoo Books. The publication is specially created for young readers. Each monthly issue of Zoo Books is packed with breathtaking full-color photos and scientifically accurate illustrations, plus games and puzzles. Today, through this exclusive TV offer, can get 12 fascinating issues of Zoo Books for the special price of $19.95. When you call and use your credit card, we'll include the elephant issue as a gift. Plus, you'll also get the colorful collection of animal stickers and the tiger poster. So order Zoo Books today and send learning and fun to a child you love. To order 12 fascinating issues of Zoo Books for $19.95, call 1-800-441-2400. When you call, we'll include the bonus elephant issue, stickers, and tiger poster for your order. Call 1-800-441-2400. You must be 18 years or older to call. No one picked up. The message says his father's out of town. You think Adam's setting a trap? Not Adam. That thing he invented. You said it yourself, Alex. The hacker is too fast to be human. It travels on the internet, controls other computers. That's the answer. Chad thinks for itself. An evil computer with a mind of its own. Ugh, that is so creepy. Oh. We have to pull Chad's plug at the source. We all set? Adam programmed Chad for home defense. So think stealth. Yeah! Yay! Whoa! Launching first 
decoy. Chad was doing. I was just scared you wouldn't snap out of it. You think that was scary? In a few hours, we have to face Judge Mandy. Aww. Okay, whoa. This is contempt of court. Mandy, enough is enough. Tell me about it. I'll sentence them to huh? six weeks picking up trash. No, you won't. You have utterly failed to enforce the dress code. You are off the student court. Oh, really? Well, if I'm not judge anymore, then I demand a new job. Uh, Mandy? You missed a milk carton? <laughs> Sour milk. Run! Ugh.
Jamming and glamming. Jam, jam, jamming, yeah. Jamming and glamming. Right. Jamming Jeep Wrangler, yeah. We're Barbie girl, and we're making the scene. Our jamming Jeep Wrangler is one glam machine. We're playing our tunes, yeah. We're keeping it real. In our jamming Jeep Wrangler, you know that's how we feel. Share the fun with your friends. Barbie girl. Jamming and glamming. Jick, 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 jamming now. The new Barbie Jam and Jeep Wrangler with real FM radio, only from Power Wheels. Adult supervision required. Other vehicles sold separately. Introducing Betty Spaghetti. Millions of ways to mix her up in every set. Heaven Almighty. She is almighty fun for everyone. I like the alpaca. He spits. Gesundheit. Heaven Almighty rated PG on DVD and HD DVD Tuesday. Get soaked. Bubblicious burst with a liquid center. Power Rangers Dual Drive Megazord. Five swords morph to Dual Drive Megazord. Then combine with the Drive Max Megazord for awesome Megazord power. Dual Drive and Drive Max Megazord each sold separately. Bandai. Friday on an all new Out of Jimmy's Head. Ah! Why is Jimmy so jumpy? What was that? Ah! Is he seeing more crazy stuff than usual? Ah! Is he ghosts? Are there ghosts haunting the art room? The best way to beat your fears is to face them. Or is it another one of Sonny's brain-stealing schemes? <laughs> Check out what all the scream is about on Out of Jimmy's Head. New episode Friday night at 7, only on Cartoon Network. Are the credit card bills closing in on you? Shouldn't this be the year you get a fresh start? Well, now you can settle your debts with dignity and without bankruptcy. Get the professional help of the Debt Reduction Law Center and get a fresh start. I just sign up. They do all the real work. The Debt Reduction Law Center uses the power of legal professionals to settle your debts. We'll get you an affordable monthly payment. And settle your debt so you'll have hundreds more each month. For a free consultation, call 800-588-2992. Hi, this is Ted Satter with Mattress Ranch right here in Silverdale. If you need a mattress, I ask that you shop my competition. They're all around me. See what overheads cost. Our low overhead lets us sell mattresses for less. We simply sell lots of mattresses for a lot less at Mattress Ranch. Get more sleep without count sheep and have another night of bliss. Across from Macy's Furniture in Silverdale is where we is. Save more bucks at the Mattress Ranch. As man has evolved, so too has the game of catch. Today, there's Cosmic Catch. Claim your color. Players, sign in. And the talking ball knows your throws. With four fast ways to play. From the makers of Nerf, better is not included. You can find it in the game aisle. My greatest creation, chocolate and vanilla flavors, together! <laughs> it's alive! It's alive! <laughs> Not for long. Two Frostics, two fillings, two flavors in one! Yes! <laughs> New Pop-Tart Splits! Praise the Living that Tamagotchi life? You could be with new 4.5. New careers, new characters, new cooler everything. New 4.5. You win? New Tamagotchi 4.5. Each sold separately. Bandai. 
Why do people freak out every time they see a bird? Oh, snap out of it! You snap out of it! You snap! Hold it! Why, come on, it's my turn. From the creators of Shrek. Nobody likes it, it's all smack it. Smack, smack! <laughs> on November 2nd. <laughs> What's up, B boy? Give bees a chance. <laughs> DreamWorks B Movie. Hi, B. Hi. <laughs> Rated PG, Friday, November 2nd. Needle shifters have landed. Neo shifters each sold separately. Join the resistance. Wow! Congrats on your new, more delicious post fruity pebble cereal. Part of a good breakfast. On your avatar, do you want to play? Bowling for fruity pebbles? Okay. Blue, orange, yellow, purple, green, pink, and red. I want those better tasting pebbles. Yikes. So goodbye, Fred. Hello, exploding fruity pebbles flavor. Even more delicious than before. Party by pebbles. <laughs> it's game over. important meal of the day if you don't count midnight cheese doodles and pre-dinner after snack hey what do you think you're doing this is the upperclassmen line getting the first year line that's ridiculous we may be new here but we got the right to be treated as equals back of the line first year or i'll pound your face in i'd like to see you try <laughs> no really i'd like to see you try to pound his face in him too. We don't want any trouble. I'll just take a tray and go to the end of the line. <laughs> that is an upper class tray. There's the line for first year trays. <laughs> I don't want to be vulture chow. Ah, uh, it was supposed to be the Battle of Shiloh, not Gettysburg. Where were y'all? Lunch was over three hours ago. It's almost pre-dinner after snack time. We got stuck in the line to get beat up for our milk money. Great way to make us first years feel wanted. I've got something that'll make you feel wanted. Wanted. Performers and musicians for the school musical. They're doing a musical version of King Kong called The Kong and I. But that's an upper class play. They'll never pick us. Ain't necessarily so. When I was the first year, I got the title role in A Tree Grows in Brooklyn. That ain't no real axe, is it? Shut up, first year. Trees don't talk. Good times. You show those upperclassmen what you've got, and I'm sure they'll let you get involved. 
Well, I don't know. That flashback looked pretty intense. Son is right. I'm sure they gonna let us do something. Who with me? All right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Then it's seven. Let's go. Hey, what about music class? <laughs> what the? Hey, Mr. Upper Class Director Man. We wanna work on y'all's play. Oh, no! The director's that creep from the cafeteria. What's worse, I said what I was thinking out loud. Lucky for you, he's just playing the director in the play. I'm the real director. Oh, no! It's that other creep from the cafeteria. Oh, Madison, that was out loud. Lucky for you, this is an upper-class play, so you don't even exist as far as I'm concerned. Come on, man, there must be something we can do. Hey, scenery? Play extras? Those are all upper-class jobs. Aren't there any jobs for first-year students who think you guys are both... Hmm. Well, there may be some odd jobs for you kids. You, geek face. We prefer the term popularity challenged. You're in charge of cast and crew hydration. Cool! Wait, I'm the water boy? Isn't it easier if I just carry a few bottles of water with me? Easier is for upperclassmen. You, you'll be our sanitation supervisor. Me, a janitor? I don't know how to janitate. You'll learn. And you... You got a big butt, you can be a seat filler. Aha! Uh -huh. Who got a big butt? I'll tell you who Eddie. My mama says I'm just husky. You can be our popcorn girl. Hope you have a strong back. Okay. Well, why do I have to have a strong back to be a popcorn girl? Cool view. I can't breathe. You and you. Yes? How much you weigh? 27 kilograms? 27 kilograms. 14 stone. Perfect. See those ropes attached to those sandbags over there? You mean these? Yeah. Now we can get rid of those sandbags. What was wrong with the sandbags? They didn't look humiliated enough. So what's my job? All we have left is lead drummer in the Skull Island conga band. I can do that. I'm a great drummer. I know what you can do. Yeah? How would you like to be? Yeah? The one and only? Yeah? Personal assistant to the actor playing King Kong. I'm looking for Marlon Wilkes Booth, who's playing King Kong. I'm his new personal assistant. It's about time. I have quite a long list of things for you to do. How can you play King Kong? You ain't no taller than me. And my name has Lil in it. Obviously, you're not familiar with method acting. I intend to gain 200 pounds, get three feet taller, and grow thick black fur all over my body. Just as I did when I played Peter Pan. Critics called my performance... astonishing. But Peter Pan don't have thick black fur. Astonishing! Now, I need you to go to the zoo and videotape the gorillas. I want to be able to act, move, and sound exactly like a real gorilla. But where I'm gonna get a camera? I don't know, and I don't care! Well, you sure got the gorilla breath down. Thank you. I'm on a strict diet of bananas and hair mites. Ugh. Welcome to the Atlanta Zoo. As usual, most of our popular attractions are fast asleep. <laughs> Fortunately, the gorillas are out and about. If you look closely, you can observe their primitive social order. Poor Momo. It's a good thing we humans have evolved past that. Hey, Momo! Come on, Momo! Do some gorilla stuff! Hey, you pretty good. But can you handle this?
Whoever invented that broom contraption obviously never heard of paying someone to sweep a floor. Oh, yeah? Cam and I were sandbags. We just held ropes for four hours. It took us that long to figure out we were just holding each other up. Hey, y'all! You ain't gonna never believe this. I met a gorilla that can draw him like crazy. You gotta come to the zoo and see him. We're not coming to the zoo. But you gotta believe me. Oh, we believe you. Then why you won't come to the zoo and see my gorilla? Cause he right behind you, fool. I'm not cleaning that window. <laughs> You can open the door to adventure. How will we get to the treasure over this river? With new electronic Buzz Lightyear. To infinity and beyond. And Adventure Woody. Ride like the wind. <gasps> electronic Buzz Lightyear and Adventure Woody each hold separately. One of the greatest and most inspirational stories of all time is now an animated movie event for the entire family. The Ten Commandments. You are destined for great things, Moses. An ordinary man. An extraordinary calling. Let my people go. Featuring the voice talents of Ben Kingsley, Christian Slater, Alfred Molina, and Elliot Gould. Never forget God's words. The Ten Commandments. Weedy PG. In theaters October 19th. How do you play the Brad's Kids way? The kids are chilling on the inside. The winter snow lodge with a real cool surprise. There's an ice cream maker just as a surprise. Shake it up. The Brad's Kids Way! Brad's Kids Snow Watch comes with Vanessa doll. Other dolls and accessories sold separately. Ingredients available in your grocery aisle. Satisfy your hunger fast with new Chef Boyardee mac and cheese. It's made with real cheese sauce and made to tame the beast in you. You have mastered other lightsabers, but not like this. Armed with a new force action lightsaber, you can instantly launch your blade with a flurry of light and sound. The power of the force is in your hands. Force action lightsaber each sold separately. Batteries not included. What y'all think we should do with him? Here's a wild concept. Let's take him back. We can't do that to Momo. All the other gorillas treat him like dirt and push him around. Shut up, twerp. The twerp's right. We can't just send him back to the zoo. Maybe we can keep him here at school. I don't think that's a good idea. A drumming ape ain't exactly gonna blend in. Why not? The harp playing one does. <laughs> Hey, y'all, what's up? What? Nothing. I see. Then today's lesson will be a discussion of the futility of hiding a full-grown gorilla from a full-grown teacher, like the one you hiding from me. <gasps> now, you know you can't keep him here. Then what we supposed to do with an 800-pound gorilla? Is that a setup to a joke? Because I don't know the punchline. All I know is you can't expect to fool anyone but an idiot by hiding him behind your back. Good morning, students. Luna, quick, hide him behind your back. Good morning, Principal Luna. Who is that behind your back? Nobody. Certainly not a gorilla. <laughs> you know, I did not fall off the number two pencil truck yesterday. Those caught fooling the principal, they will be dealt with harshly. Sorry, Lone. We didn't think you'd approve. Why would I not approve? He is fantastic. Perhaps the greatest actor of his generation. You can't fool me, Marla. Even though you've gained 300 pounds and grown four feet since I saw you yesterday. Oh, you think that's Marlin? No, it's me. Yes, I love the hair and the face and the stink. Uh, Principal Luna, I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> Oh, we're expelled for sure. 
<laughs> Bravo! Two will be the best King Kong ever! Now I must be going. All this praise has given me a headache. We can't keep Momo here. Luna's gonna get himself killed. And that guy gives you a detention even if you only graze his car with a brick. Imagine how much detention we get if we got him eaten. Can anyone bring Momo home? No. What about Sonny? What about Sonny? Then it's settled. Momo can stay with you. I don't know. Please, please Sonny, please, 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 please. your house? As long as he ain't too much trouble. He ain't gonna be no trouble at all. You promise you won't be no trouble, right, Momo? Uh, that means yes. What make you think he understands you? Oh, he understand me? You understand me, right, Momo? See? He understand me. He didn't understand you. Momo, no! Yeah, I tried that. That don't work. He's already destroyed like 1,500 of my best shirts. That's over 10% of my wardrobe. Well, I'm out of ideas. Hold up now, Shawty. I tried keeping them here. But if I've learned anything from watching Free Willy 40 times, is that animals don't belong outside their natural habitat. So you think we should send him back where he came from? I do, and so does Willy. Are we throwing him back into the ocean? No, Madison. We're sending him back to his natural habitat in Africa. I guess this is it, old friend. I really dug playing the drums with you. I hope you find what you're looking for. You throw a mean desk. Respect. Goodbye, Momo. You'll miss me most of all. Little D. Who wanna know? Your boss. Mana? You look different. Where is that gorilla video I asked you to get? Oh yeah, about that. That was some uh complications. But before you get all method on me, I worked up a real good gorilla impression myself. Listen. <laughs> I didn't think I had it in me. You didn't. Momo! I don't understand. We sent him to Africa. They sent him back. When I said he belongs in his natural habitat, I meant the zoo. McGilla here ain't from Africa, he from the apes. Marlin, you look amazing. That ain't Marlin. That's a gorilla. This is why they should teach you biology at this school. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got some shopping to do. Is this your gorilla? I guess. He understand me. See? What would you say about letting us use him as our King Kong? Hey, what about me? We'll find another part for you. How about Fat Hairy Tree number two? Why not Fat Hairy Tree number one? Chloe Pinkerson is already Fat Hairy Tree number one. <sighs> good. So, what do you say, kid? What I really want is to be the lead drummer in the Skull Island Band. You let me do that, and I get my motor to play King Kong. Deal. Do you think he understands? Oh, he understands. <laughs> what are you, crying? There's no crying in King Kong. I need you to be angry. Lil D, do something about your gorilla. Make him act like a gorilla. What you doing, Momo? You ruining my big chance. <laughs> Drumming. Act like a gorilla. You want this? Well, you can't have it. Does that make you angry? Huh? Huh? <laughs> good. Uh, Preston, I ain't sure messing with a gorilla is a good idea. Silence! I'm directing! If you want this drum, get angry about it. Show me the anger! <laughs> Pretty good. Let's take it from the top. Attention Master Control team members. Keep going to MasterControlTV.com. Pick your team. 
send some smack talk, and you can see it on TV. Enter bonus codes for extra votes, and pick the show you want to see each day. It all leads up to you getting complete control on Total Control Fridays, where you pick all of the shows. Your team, your shows. Tune in weekdays from 4 to 6, and see who rules after school on Master Control. Me, Chowder. Thanks for the ride, kid. <laughs> Chowder premieres November 2nd at 7.30, only on Cartoon Network. Now, 2013 and more furniture for less. for less. Hi, this is Ted Seiler with Mattress Ranch. At our stores, we do not believe in pressure. We believe in showing you the products and letting you pick what you want. We don't give you free rides to Venice. We sell quality at an affordable price, the same price for everybody, every day. Get more sleep without count sheep and have another night of bliss. The ranch on Highway 16 in Port Orchard is where we is. Save more bucks at the Mattress Ranch. You have mastered other lightsabers, but not like this. Armed with a new Force Action lightsaber, you can instantly launch your blade with a flurry of light and sound. The power of the Force is in your hands. Force Action lightsaber, each sold separately. Batteries not included. Yo! Lunchables maxed out pizza turns up the heat with a chance to win a week. Two winners a day, every day! Check specially marked boxes for an online access code or log on in for free. But ask a parent first. No purchase necessary. Many will enter, few will win. Plus, only maxed out has new berry hot airheads. It heats up as you eat up. Lunchtime just got hotter with maxed out pizza. It's more than lunch. It's Lunchables! You've mastered Spider-Man's moves. Now you can get his webs, too. The new Ultimate Web Blaster gives you five ways to web blast. Spider suction darts, stretchy web flingers, web fluid, spider missiles, and water webs. The new Ultimate Web Blaster. Venom masks sold separately. <laughs> you just can't match the power pack taste of Sunny D. Unleash the power of the sun. Ben 10 Vilgax Battleship, now landing. Crush the evil Vilgax in the battle zone. Fight with super catapults, fire missiles, and shred on the skateboard ramp. You're toast. Vilgax Battleship with Ben 10 figure. Others sold separately. Bandai. Mom! And Strike Arsenal has a specialized blaster for any mission. You can improve your blasting speed with a Maverick Rapid Fire Blaster, while the Nightfinder's Light Beam Targeting System allows for pinpoint accuracy. And you can nail targets from long distance with Nerf's Long Shot Blaster. Two blasters in one, quick fire clips, and detachable scope. Everything you need to blast your skills to the next level. And Strike. Blaster sold separately, batteries not included. Nerf. your gorilla he'll be back he left his headshots behind he better be the only way i'm gonna let you be a drummer in this play is if you get that gorilla back how we gonna find an 800 pound gorilla is that a setup for another joke because i still don't know the punchline. if the bearings on my gorilla detector are correct mono should be directly northwest where did you get a gorilla detector i made some modifications to the smoke detector from the classroom what if it's a five in the classroom I made some modifications to the sprinkler system. Oh! 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 
So why is this gorilla of yours run away? Dumb gorilla don't want to work. He just want to bang on his drum all day. That's all you want to do. Exactly. Which is why we got to get that gorilla back. I think I know where Momo went. Where? Back. I don't think we need a gorilla detector to detect that. This is where the trail of destruction ends. He's got to be around here somewhere. Wait. Y'all hear that? Momo, it's me, Lil D. Momo, this is my big shot to be a drummer in an upper-class play, and I can't do it without you. You think Momo understands him? Yeah, he understands. Save it for the show, big fella. I still think you're underutilizing my talents. Shut up! You're a tree! Trees don't talk! LD. Just wanted to say, break a leg. Shouldn't y'all be sweeping floors, filling seats, and serving popcorn? We quit those jobs. If I wanted to be treated like a doormat, I'd sit on a stoop with a key under my butt. Gonna need a big stoop. Why should we have to do things we don't want to do just so the upperclassmen can get all the glory? Yeah! Besides, I think that popcorn machine messed up my spine. Bunch of quitters, huh, Sonny? Nah, those upperclassmen were taking advantage of them. Sound familiar, huh, Lil D? Yeah, like how Philly Phil took advantage of that smoke detector. No, I was thinking more along the lines of a certain gorilla and a certain you. <laughs> well, enjoy the show, Momo. Now I get it. My love has been enraged Cause he's held inside a cage We can't escape This monkey's business isn't thrilling But at least he fits the billing As an Hey, what's Marlin doing up there? Oh, my show is ruined <laughs> What? Man, you crying? Ain't no crying in King Kong But where's my gorilla? Why isn't he in the show? Oh he in the show. I don't recognize that student, but he is fantastic. He's not a student, he's a real gorilla. Where does an 800 pound gorilla learn to play the drums? Anywhere he wants to. You know, Lil D, they would've loved your drumming, too. Yeah, but I can wait till I'm an upperclassman. Tonight belonged to Momo. Give me some dap, home gorilla. Speaking of gorillas and homes, it's time to get this one back to his. You mean Africa? No, dummy, the ocean. No, Sonny's house. I mean the zoo. But Momo a star now? He shouldn't be in the cage at the zoo. He should be put on display for the entertainment of others. Here we have our newest attraction, Momo the Drumming Gorilla. It's about to get bananas in here. Hey, look at that ape over there bathing. Banana zoo, ooh baby. Do what you wanna do. Banana zoo, ooh shawty. Move like an animal, now go down low. Don't stop now. Swing like a ring attack, now take it slow. Go and walk now, and watch him do it. I'm telling you, I go crazy. I beat on my chest because I am the best. I'm the king of the jungle, and I ain't lying. Get it? I ain't lying. I ain't lying. No, I ain't no lying. And you can tell King Kong, he don't run this. Can't throw no monkey wrench in this. Now what's the name of my town? Zoo. That's Ooh, right. Baby. Uh. Do what you want to do. 
you got out of that cage, mister, but you are coming with me. I'm not a gorilla. Get your hands off me, you dang dirty zookeeper! Ah! I'm the king of the jungle, and I ain't lying. Get it? I ain't lying. I ain't lying. No, I ain't no Tell King Kong, he don't run this. You can't throw no monkey wrench in this. Now what's the name of my town? That's Ooh, right. Baby. Roger. Zoos are just prisons filled with animals who are simply minding their own business until they were captured and jailed for society's amusement. That is so not true. Zoos provide a safe environment where defenseless creatures can nap or eat or take a bath without all that stress of getting eaten by something with bigger teeth. You know, kind of like a spa for the animal kingdom. Oh, yeah, a real spa this is. What time's your pedicure, Nigel? I'll have to check my schedule, but I believe it's right after my hump exfoliation. Oh, sounds lovely. Maybe we should meet for a smoothie after my Pilates class. <laughs> Pilates class, oh, good one. <laughs> well, what's she looking at, then? Have you got a problem, Missy? Um, uh, maybe? Oh, she can hear us! Can you hear us? Yeah. Get us out of here! In a world full of monsters and demons, Shun is the only one who sees them. When evil beasts start the plot and scheming, she kicks butt, the sounds of her screaming, the sounds of her screaming. Yeah. It wasn't a problem. She's the one who has to resolve it. Has to resolve it. Occupational hazards of being a spitting camel. 
Back in our old bodies, we never used to spit, did we? Wait, wait, what do you mean, old bodies? The ones we had before, you know, the change. Yes, I mean, one minute we are just a couple of Varsuk demons walking through the desert, minding our own business, thank you very much. And the next minute we wake up here, as camels! That's why I can hear you. You're not just animals, you're magical creatures. All of us here are. The zookeeper did it to hide us from the rest of the magical world. Oh, we're talking major mojo, love. Don't worry, okay? I'll get to the bottom of this and... Okay, hello, seriously. Who are you supposed to be? Dr. Doolittle chatting with a couple of camels? Oh. I think it's cute. Besides, it makes animals feel good when you treat them like people. You know, like how plants grow when you talk to them or sing songs. Oh, for the love of... She's not actually going to sing, is she? Hello, boy! How are you today? I think I'll call you Nathaniel. I'm not Nathaniel. For your information, the name is Clive. I mean, do I look like a Nathaniel? Americans. Yo, ugly! One hump or two! <laughs> you must free us, Maxwell! Don't just stand there, mate. The walls are closing in around me. Oh, please, mademoiselle, call my lawyer. You must get word to my people. I'm begging you here. First, Juniper, up this way. Quiet down, guys. Quiet down, okay? I'm gonna get to everybody. Just relax. Your powers won't work in here, Tejwan Z. There's a magical shield over the entire zoo. Let me guess. You're the zookeeper, right? No, I'm a creepy old guy who lives with flea-ridden animals and likes the smell of dung. Of course I'm the zookeeper. <laughs> and you're trespassing. Yeah, well, don't sweat it, yelled Coot. I'll be out of your hair in a minute. And I'm taking your little menagerie here with me. I beg to differ. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. You are Juniper Lee, no? The one everyone's talking about. Uh, yeah. Uh, whoa. Careful, little one. Go as slowly. Trust me, it takes some time getting used to... Getting used to what? What happened? Oh, man, my head's killing me. Maybe I just need to drink some water and... Ah! Ah! Once you get past 
the dankness and overwhelming sense of doom. It's really quite lovely here. Of course I'm kidding. Cartoon Network's getting you psyched for the Ben 10 live action movie that's coming in November with a brand new Ben 10 episode. I got you covered. The Tennysons are on the road again and they've got company. You're on my road, boy. Guess they're not the only ones who like cool cars. Well, depends on what you mean by cool. Time for me to hitch your up. Check out an all-new Ben 10, this morning at 10. And on Torigo for every occasion, only on Cartoon Network. Maybe it's time I slept without the nightlight on. <laughs> Gilbert? <laughs> Goldfish crackers always baked and made with real cheese. <laughs> ah, you'll get it next time. The sack that smiles back. Goldfish. Disney magical water dolls in gold. Pink. Now change to blue. Disney magical water dolls. Once, twice, three times for you. Disney magical water dolls. Dolls each sold separately. Batteries not included. Wow! Congrats on your new, more delicious post fruity pebble cereal. Part of a good breakfast. I'm your avatar. Do you want to play? Bowling for fruity pebbles? It's okay. Blue, orange, yellow, purple, green, pink, and red. I want those better tasting pebbles. Yikes. So goodbye, Fred. Hello, exploding fruity pebble flavor. Even more delicious than before. Barney, buy pebbles. <laughs> it's game over. Oh, uh, yeah. Everybody clap your hands. Come on, y'all. Check it out, y'all. <laughs> How low can you go? Can you go down low? I'm out of here, y'all. Peace, peace. I can create my own colorful world at McDonald's. I can get a colored pencil and a funny cartoon character in my Happy Meal. Like Bloom, Laszlo, Jake, Rodney, and more. Just like in the movie, Barbie as the island princess. Let's get ready, yeah! Let's get ready for the royal ball. Well, Bella, you look absolutely lovely. And now we can sing with the real Monkey Ball. <laughs> Here on my island, the sea says, says hello. There's so much to be seen. Planning adventures of daily routine. I'm gonna sing too! sings three songs and has a microphone for you. DVD in stores now. Cartoon Network brings you R.L. Stein's Goosebumps. 40 episodes of Goosebumps. 20 hours of Goosebumps. Mom! Dad! More monsters than we can mention. Oh, there you are! You're the one in the cellar. Goosebumps. You're in for a scare. Premieres Monday night, October 1st at 8, here on Cartoon Network. Ah! I'm a monkey! That gross geezer turned me into a monkey! Uh, actually, you're a lemur. Uh, whatever! I'm all hairy and nasty and I have a wet nose! Oh, oh man! And I've got fleas! Take it from me, chica. Don't scratch. It only makes things worse. Oh, yeah? You want to tell me how things are getting any worse? Go ahead. Give it your best shot, because frankly, I don't think it's possible! Ah! Paco? Uh, not taking it well, is she? I think she's doing quite fine, actually. Feeding time. Feeding time? No, thank you! The last thing I want to do right now is choke down zoo food! Not our feeding time. The zookeepers. Okay, you lost me.
why you're holding us here to drain our magical energy. How do you think I stay so young? Oh, I hate to break this to you, Gramps, but it's not working. Hey, who are you calling, Gramps? <sighs> the name is Gigi. Not bad for 300 years old, don't you think? Then, uh, what was with the old guy get up? Oh, I need to keep a low profile, darling. I've got more ex-husbands than Snow White has dwarfs. Oh, gee, sounds like a real sad story, but it'll be even sadder when I go all crazy monkey on your butt! Oh, oh. <clears throat> I hate to nitpick, darling, but you're a lemur. And while still a member of the primate family, not the monkey. Yeah, 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 whatever. I'm still gonna whip your tush when I get out of here! Oh, I love the optimism, but let's be very clear about something, huh? You are never getting out of here. Ever. Now, this has all been quite amusing, but I've got shopping to do. There's a new outlet mall a few miles from here, and it is calling my name. <laughs> so, behave, have a good time. The emergency numbers are on the fridge. I'm kidding, there's no fridge, no numbers. You can call nobody. You are trapped. She's not picking up her cell. Well, for pity's sake, how long does it take to free some vermin-infested zoo animals? Dude, you're one to talk. Last summer we could have charged tickets for that flea circus you were carrying around. Ray Ray, have you seen your sister? Uh, she's taking a shower. No, she's not. Uh, at Jody's. Yeah, yeah, she's showering at Jody's. Now, why would she be taking a shower at Jody's? Uh, better water pressure. Yep. Oh, yeah. Have you ever showered at Jody's? Oh, my phenomenal water pressure. You're never gonna want to shower any... Ray Ray Lee, how many times do I have to tell you I will not tolerate lying in this... <gasps> you froze my mom! Aye. You turned her into a momsicle! I can't believe you, man! How could you not tell me you could do that? <laughs> Seriously, dude, do you know how many times that would have saved my butt? Let me just say that while I always love a good discussion of your posterior, we don't have the time. I must find June. Then let's motor. No, you need to stay put and make sure your mother doesn't defrost. No way! I am out of here! If you think I'm gonna waste a perfectly good frozen mom, you got another thing... You don't think I could get a vegetarian plate, do you? Her name's T-Bone, and in this joint, I call the shots. You may be top dog on the outside, Missy, but in here, you're just the bottom... Uh, uh, bottom... Lemur. She's a lemur. Lemur. You're a lemur. So let me give you a little piece of advice. Watch your step, because this zoo is m Anybody else want some of this? Huh? Huh, do ya? Bring it on, hairballs! Magnifique! Very impressive. Small of body, but strong of heart. Whatever you need, June, we got your back. Oh, yeah? Well, then, how about doing something about these fleas? They're killing me. Lower. Lower. Yeah, a little to the right. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Get them! There's like a condominium of them right there. Hey. 
<sighs> All right, you can come out now. <laughs> uh, surprised to see me, aren't ya? I guess your little freezy thing didn't work on me, huh? Must have been blocked by my magical mojo. Next time I'll have to set it on high. With any luck, you won't thaw out until I'm retired. Hey, how'd you know I was tracking you, dude? Because I was making with the whole ninja following thing. Well, your stealthiness. It's hard to pinpoint the exact security breach. It could have been when you ran into that trash can, stopped to order a chocolate shake at the Mount Burger Queen drive through or started making that ridiculous noise with your straw. What? This? I thought it sounded like an owl. Yes, uncanny. It's like being on African safari. Now, can we get on with this? Roger that. Commencing Operation Save June's Butt. the thought, but this might be an easier way in. <laughs> yeah, thanks, dude, but I got my own message, you dig? <laughs> okay, let's try it your way. <laughs> So, uh, I hear you're looking for some protection. Those wild boars, T-Bone and Slim, maniacs! Last week, they trussed up Danny here like a Thanksgiving turkey and dangled him over the polar bear pit for an hour! <laughs> yeah, well, sounds rough, but I got a pretty full load. I can sweeten the deal. An old guy knows a guy who can get you a nice Belgian waffle. Strawberries and whipped cream? Loaded. Deal. Grab hold, darling. Oh, man. It's about time you guys got here. Sweet Mary McGonagall. Somebody needs a waxing appointment. Whoa. You are one ugly monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm a lemur. Tree-dwelling prosimian from Madagascar. Big difference. Oh. Dude, do you have a pouch? Ew! No! Hey, how'd you get past Mom this late at night? Hey, Han, what do you think? The red tie or the blue tie for that meeting tomorrow? You're right. Red is power. Thanks, babe. You're the best. The Sphere of Bokura is the most powerful vanquishing artifact we've got. It should break the magic shield and return you to normal. If it doesn't work, well, let's just see you better get used to that monkey suit. Uh, uh, me again! Uh, yeah, except for the tail. What? No! No, 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 no! Uh, I can't still have a tail! <laughs> Ray Ray! <laughs> Sorry. My bad. I thought I saw one. Well, looks like somebody got a makeover. And in this zoo, my dear Teshwanze, there's only room for one girl at the cosmetics counter. Rip them to shreds. Leave nothing behind. Take care of Gigi and her mutants. You guys go help the other animals bust out of this joint. Woohoo! Prison break! He'll never take us alive! Why do you always say that? I prefer to be taken alive.
I really hate that kid. You know. None too soon, I can tell you. <laughs> that hump made me look fat, didn't it? Oh, but you carried it so well. Honestly, not many could, darling. No! My power! My beauty! What's happening? Mm, sorry, Gigi. Guess your little fountain of youth here is all dried up. For the first time tonight, I actually agree with you. You soul-sucking freak. Oh, dude, that is the ugliest sucker in the whole zoo. Look at it. It's so disgusting. What do you think it is? A lemur or something? Nah, it's just an ugly monkey. will not tolerate lying in Coming up tomorrow night on Cartoon Network's Fridays, we've got brand new episodes of Billy and Mandy and Cam Blaslow. Plus, there's an extra special treat just for you. A brand new Tom and Jerry cartoon, The Karate Guard. It all starts tomorrow night at 7 on Fridays, only on Cartoon Network. Lemur! You're a lemur!